Hey, what's going on guys? Hope that one will be fine. So welcome back to another tutorial and in this tutorial we will discuss about the image upload without any submit button and there you see there is no submit button down here and this can be done using Ajax, right? So the first thing you're going to need to do is to click on the change photo and once you click on it, you can find the image that you want to upload. Let's suppose I want to grab the image for the PHP and you see that the profile saved successfully or the image is saved successfully depending on whatever the text you want to write all right so once you're done with that then there you see the interesting part is that go inside your um directory like this is the this is the root directory and go inside the public because we are storing the image inside the storage users folder there you see that we have the random some random text written down here this is because of the functions that we have used inside the controller that will create some random string right so this has been nicely stored inside a users folder without the submits button but the interesting part is that you can also see that it also saved in our database which is very simple right so that's what we are going to build i hope you guys will enjoy so let's jump in and see the entire code and I also i provide this code in my description so if you guys love it and like please leave a like and subscribe it and i want to see you in the coding section all right guys so let's uh, start the coding section so this is the laravel directory if you guys have uh, if you need to understand the common file structure in laravel so you can also watch my video i give the link in the description so let's start that um, the first thing I'm going to do is to again the proper way of doing is that inside the resources we have the views and inside the views I have created the layouts file uh, folder and with the name of master.lay.php and that's the file that has been extended in our other files. All right, so I have a very basic um, CSS for that for like width and height. I all set up for this and you can all watch through my uh, code and it's a very basic um css background size for the cover because we are we want that image to be loaded inside that radius so we give the water radius to be 50 percent for circular and uh, some margins and uh, then i also have my display flex for our single row so this is also a css property display flex you can um uh, if you're interested to know about that so i want to make a video of it Next, we have our change dash photo, which basically makes our cursor to the pointer. Once, whenever I hover over it, let's you just guys can see it here. That if I show you, if I hover over it, you see that this pointer uh, um, shown uh, through this property by using cursor pointer. Then we have the color and the font size, font family, and everything rest of that. You all good with it. Then we have a very basic div. This div shows us the um, the 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 alert that we have in green color or in red color depending on the situation and, um, and we have a code.jquery.com that's where you can grab the cdn for our uh, image uploading that because that's very necessary for the ajax request so we have applied code.jquery and i have used a bootstrap you can get this cdn from the bootstrap dot get bootstrap.com and uh, i also applied this dropify.min.js and uh, that's what we don't need it drop zone um so i just want to remove that all uh, so th this is what you need to ha have in your master file and next we have in the index.php file i give it the very basic form some css for that i have applied and background image that's the default image that we have set even if the image is not um if the image is not inserted so we can also add up the default image but in my case um, I haven't applied it, but if you're interested to do this, you can do, right? So this is the this is basically the on change even that I have used. Oh, I have also used this um, work in my video for the Laravel image validation, where I also do the same thing. But here you don't need to have a submit button. So on change is a property. Once I click on this, this want to check all the objects to it, and we are using uh, we are passing the ID inside a form. And using a multi-part slash form that dash data because whenever we want to send data as an array, we need to apply this encryption type inside a form. All right, so down if I go here and you see, uh, once I click on uh, the first thing which we need to do is to get this event. Like whenever I click on this do after select image, this function loads and read the url and read the input type it checks 
that if the input type uh, input dot files and the input type uh, input dot files has the name of the file then read the file through the file reader and load the function and inside that we have a background image that want to uh, that want to use this even dot target dot result will grab the image whatever the image we have and fix that inside our background image let's suppose if i want to change the photo and you see that we have our image loaded inside this radius all right inside this circular uh, beautiful circular avatar or uh, you could say the image um, shape which is very nicely created just want to zoom that out so you guys can see properly all right so the next we have our if i go back and that's passed inside the this loads inside the target result and next we have our function which then which we also loaded inside the once we uh, change on change property clicks then we have a upload user profile in this function and this function will grab this id that we have inside our form id and because we are using the form data so this one grab this id and put that inside the form data and we have our ajax request inside it we have the type we have the data data type which is json content type which is false cache is false processing data is false pass the route here success the function response and if everything works well if the response is to under the profile saved successfully and we also had set some uh timeout function which you see that loaded uh and then fade out after from after three seconds so three thousand mean three seconds here and if the response is 700 you see that we have our error which we have a background color with the red all right so now i need to go to the controller which should be inside the app http controllers and uh, user controller all right so that's the view that i have passed very simple if i go to my routes routesweb.php and there you see that we have set a route with the with the name of the file index and next if i want to submit that request we have the save image route and um, you see once our route works with that function which have, we have save underscore image we pass the request and have the object for the user model and see if there is a request for the file with the picture name exists then check the client get client original name for this file so what basically get right original client original name is it is used to retrieve the file original name at the time of upload in laravel and that's only be possible if the user is sent as array and not as a string so you must add encryption type which i have shown you inside the form that you need to set the multi-part slash form dash data whenever you're creating a form with input field for files or images and then next we have our path information which is a function which you use to return information about a path using an associative array of a string so this return an array of a string contains the following information or the directory name and uh, get client original extension basically checks the original file extensions and then i have the string replace function which basically do is that we have a random number with the time and and also rather giving an empty space it should give a dash and if i show you inside my database and notice you see that we have our we also set some dash with, with we remove the space and put this underscore down here and also some pass some random number on based of some on the on based of time because time changes on uh once we upload every seconds on uh it, it changes uh, it creates a random number for us and then we pass this extension and it also checks the extension you can also dd dump and die to check that every every single line of code do and then we have a path where we have set the store as function and this store as function will put inside the public users folder so whenever you are trying to store in your storage storage um folder which should be inside your if i go to the app sorry not in the app if i go to the public uh storage and user stable that's where you see the image has been loaded successfully but in case if you want to store in your um other directory so you can use that um as as according to your um, directory that where you want to save the image but the good way is that you need to use store as and that's where it will store the picture with the name of file in a database and if the user has 
if the user saved with the response 200 and you see that it's successfully submitted else it will not insert or have some error in our server all right so in order to store that save as you need to run the command which is known as php artisan storage link right so that's the that's the file where you can store inside your storage um so that's it i, I believe this is a very nice tutorial that you hardly find in your um in other channels are they're doing creating some content like this so if you guys love it and like it so please leave a like and subscribe my channel and share it so i want to see you for the next time